Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Top 5 Tuesday. This week's Top 5 Tuesday is going to be my Top 5 Favorite Skinny Taste Recipes. If you remember last week's Top 5 Tuesday were my Top 5 Recipe Blogs where I get meal inspiration from. I asked you guys if you wanted me to do Top 5's on those individual recipe blogs and I had a very um, high request of yes. <laughs> so. Um, especially for Skinny Taste and Emily Bites and Drizzle Me Skinny. So those ones will be coming soon. And I wanted to start off with Skinny Taste, especially since when I was doing my meal plan this week, I realized how much I missed making so many of these recipes. And so you will definitely see these over the next few weeks in my daily vlogs. So let me, t I will also tell you um, that I will link, of course, all the recipes down below. I will also tell you any changes that I made in each particular recipe um, for myself. Now, a lot of these I also did for Simply Filling, so I did make changes to make them Simply Filling, so I don't think it's necessary. I don't think going forward I will make these same changes, only because I don't don't need to anymore if I am not going to be doing Simply Filling, but when I'm on Simply Filling, I will just make some of those changes. So. You will understand when I go through these. Also, if I happen to do any of these, if I happen to do a recipe video for any of these, I will link those down below and I will let you know if there is one to look for. So, let's get started. Number one. Lasagna roll-ups. I don't remember exactly if that's what she calls it. I want to say it's called something a little bit different, but lasagna rolls they are so good the only changes I made with this recipe this I first made this actually when I was on simply filling so I did make my own homemade sauce that way I could have a simply filling sauce I also omitted the parmesan cheese the grated parmesan and I used um, just I just used fat free mozzarella I think she says in there to use part skim so I just completely omitted the parmesan and I substitute fat free mozzarella for the part skin mozzarella. I also use fat free cottage cheese. For some reason, I cannot find ricotta cheese in my town, any fat free ricotta cheese at all in my town. Um, it's hard to even find regular ricotta cheese in my town. So I'm not sure why, just small town, I guess. Uh, and I'm not anywhere near. A lot of people told me like Trader Joe's has a really good fat free ricotta, but I don't live close enough to go just to go grab one thing. <laughs> I have to drive over an hour. So um, anyway, they are so good. Another substitution I made just to add more variety to them is I have made them using meat. Now, this particular recipe is spinach. I think actually I think that's what she calls it, spinach lasagna roll-ups. So um, it does have spinach in there, and she doesn't have meat in her. So I have added ground beef, and I have also used ground turkey. And but they're just as good without. So just depending if you want to add some more protein with them, they are really good with meat. So that is a good substitution. So. The, I think they are called spinach lasagna roll-ups. It'll be linked down below. Number two. Salsa Verde Chicken. Now this was a new recipe that I have made and I had made it, I just made it a couple weeks ago and it's already made my favorite because it is so simple but so good and how, I mean, it's almost just ridiculous simple where you don't even really need a recipe but the fact that she put it out there because who would even think about it? You know, it's a crock pot recipe. You probably could make it without a crock pot, but it's a crock pot recipe. You literally just take your chicken breast, put it in your crock pot, get a jarred salsa verde sauce, put it in there, and I believe it might have cumin and maybe some other spices, but I, I'm not, I can't remember. I didn't make any changes to this. I literally did it exactly like the recipe, and it is so good. So I ate it um, just on a bed of lettuce. I also ate it in like a taco shell, um, or like a soft taco, ta flour tortilla. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'm trying to say, flour tortilla. I ate it with that. I ate it with corn tortillas. So, I mean, it's so versatile. You could use it on a tostada shell. Um, yeah, it's just so versatile. You just eat it on its own. It is that good. It is so good. And when I had it, I just sprinkled some like fat-free mozzarella on there, just add a little bit of cheese, and it's it's really good. So I highly recommend the salsa verde chicken. Number three, loaded cauliflower mash. Now I haven't made this in so 
long. I did do a recipe video on this way back, so don't judge <laughs> because my earlier videos are not the greatest when it comes to like the editing and the music choices and all that, but it was, I think, one of my first, I want to say, I know I don't remember how long ago it was, but anyway, um, it's called Loaded Cauliflower Mash, and it is so good. I will link the recipe video below. Um, the changes that I made at that time was I did substitute nut milk because I think it calls for 1% buttermilk. Now, the only reason why I substituted actually the nut milk was because I believe the day I was making that, I could not find a 1% buttermilk. Now, since then, I do know where I can get it now, and it's at my local chain grocery store that I shop at almost all the time now. So, um, I, next time I make this, I will probably most likely use the buttermilk. So that's the only reason why I used the nut milk at the time. And I, but I did use light butter. I think her says whipped butter. I just used the, I can't believe it's not butter. And then I used fat free cheeses versus the reduced fat cheeses that she suggests in there. Um, I, not sure the point difference, um, but all of the points are listed on her website as well. Um, she has usually smart points and points plus on there on all the, and plus all the calories and all the nutrition facts. So it's really versatile for anybody, no matter what plan that you are following. So I highly recommend the loaded cauliflower mash. It's really good. It'd be really great around the holidays to use in place of like mashed potatoes or just a second dish. So if somebody wanted mashed potatoes, but another person wanted a little bit lighter, the cauliflower mash definitely makes up for it. It's really good. Number four. Spaghetti with sauteed chicken and tomatoes. I, again, I don't know exactly what she calls it, but that's what I called it. I, this is also kind of a newer recipe. I actually found this when I was doing a collab video with some other lovely ladies. Um, so I will, I will link the recipe video down below. This is so good. It is literally, you just take spaghetti. And I don't believe I made any changes to this recipe. You literally just take, you have your spaghetti noodles. I use whole wheat noodles. Um, you just take your chicken, and I already pre-cooked it. It was just easier that way for me, so that could be a change. I don't know if she has you pre-cook it. I took my favorite grape tomatoes that I get at Costco. I cut just to cut them in half. You can use any tomatoes you want, of course, but you cut them in half, and you just saute them with a little bit of olive oil. Oh, my goodness. So good, you guys. So, so good. And then you just fold it, and you, you just mix it all together, and it is so simple, but it's so flavorful, and it just really shows you you don't need to have a heavy marinara or, or red sauce to go with, you know, your spaghetti. This is just light. It's refreshing. It is so good. Highly recommend the spaghetti with sauteed chicken and tomatoes. And number five. Swedish meatballs. I have not made this recipe in so long, and when I was meal planning this week, I realized how much I love it. I used to make it all the time. So it's coming this week in my meal plan in my, my videos this week. And I will, um, definitely be showing you pictures of that. So anyway, the only substitution I made was I used fat free cream cheese versus the regular cream cheese only because the fat free is what I always have on hand. So that was the only substitution I made in this recipe. Um, this recipe is really versatile. Once you make the meatballs and the sauce, um, you can serve it over pasta, you can serve it over cauliflower rice, which is my preferred method, or you can serve it over mashed potatoes, which is my family's preferred method. So when I make it this week, I will be making a batch of mashed potatoes, and I'll be making a batch of cauliflower rice, and people can have it over whatever they want. And it's really good served with like green beans, or a salad, or something like that. So the Swedish meatballs are so good. Highly recommend them. Actually, I highly recommend, of course, all five of these recipes, which will be linked down below. Hope you enjoyed this week's Top 5 Tuesday, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. <music>